I'm going to show you how to create a new guide in LibGuides 2. Here I have logged in. Um, I can edit an existing guide here or I can create a new guide. Just working down, um, if you want to assign it to a group, it's here. You don't have to do that. Um, you can apply a template here. These are the different types of templates that we have so far. You can copy content from an existing guide. You name the guide here. You can write a short description. Um, password if you want one. And guide type, every guide has to have a type. It doesn't have to have a group. Um, the default is general purpose type. Um, the other options are here. Do not use internal, but you can use one of the others as is appropriate. And then you create the guide. If you have um, used a template, it will fill in uh, certain boxes for you that you then fill with content. Um, and it will have a certain number of columns, etc. Um, and then you just add content like this. You put in a, the box name and then you choose the type of box. There's different kinds of boxes. For most most boxes you'll want standard. Um, tabbed, gallery, and profile. I'll let you explore what those are. Um, if you want to, if you're working on a published guide and you want to have a draft, you can check this box. Um, there's also a reuse existing box option which is very similar to LibGuides 1. Then once you've chosen whatever you want, you save it and it makes your new box. Then you can add content like this. You choose the type of content that you want. Um, once you've created content, here I'm going to add a database. Once you've created a couple of kinds of content, you can actually reorder the content. So you can move your text box above or below other content and rearrange content that way. So you have more options in terms of the order of the content that you had before. Then once you got, you've got everything the way you want it to um, publish it, you go over here to the status and you choose either to publish it privately or it, currently it's set at Submit for Review, and which will go to um, Christina and or Sonia, and then they'll um, approve it. Um, so that's the process, and you'll get a little email that says your guide has been approved, and then it's published.